Now you've probably seen my previous video about what I call the Train Simulator Route Editor 5, which I think that's not even the correct name for it, but it makes a lot of sense for this particular editor. It's a route editor that's been created to work with Microsoft Train Simulator, which works in hand with OpenRails. In this video, we're going to focus on the Consist Editor that is included. It's a pretty nice Consist Editor. If you go inside your TSRE5 directory, you'll see that there's a 32-bit and a 64-bit version of the Consist Editor. In this case, I'll be using the 64-bit. So we just click on that and we'll run it. And then click on OK. And it says choose the folder containing the trains folder, basically. So we'll just browse. And uh, you'll see in my previous video that I made that I, I showed you how to make uh, open rails work without train simulator being installed in this case I have it installed inside of a folder called train game in 99% of the people watching this video you'll go inside the C program files Microsoft games Microsoft or train simulator and then uh, select that folder in this case we're going to select the train game folder um, just in your case select the uh, train simulator folder we just click load so now as you see on the left hand side here we have all of your consists that are installed to your game. In this case only have about six. We have the NSC39-8, we have the GP60, um, the Dash 940C, the SD40-2, and the SD60 and the SD70. And as you can see as I click on each of these it loads that consist on the bottom so you can see it visually. If you wanted to add to that consist, you go to the right hand side, select whatever it is you want to add, and then just simply add it that way. In this case, we don't want to do that. We want to create a new consist. So we'll just go to File and New, and now you can see it creates a new consist file, which will be overwritten later on. And we go over here on the right hand side, and let's select this C39 8, and we'll add it to the front. Let me scroll over a little bit. There we go. You can see the engine is there. Now here's a cool feature. Let's say that, uh, let's see, with this tanker car here, we want to add, let's say, 80 of these. Now you just go up to Num to Add, select 80, and then we'll say Add it to the end, and that'll add 80 cars. Now you can see there's F81, so there's 81 total, including the engine. And there it is at the beginning. Let's say you want to put a pusher on the end of it. Let's say an SD70 or something. Go back to Num to Add at the top and select one and add it to the end. Now let's say you wanted to add two. Let's go ahead and delete that. You would put two and then add it to the end. And then if you want to flip this particular engine, you select the engine at the bottom and click the letter F on your keyboard and that'll flip it and that'll flip it either which way that you want it to and that flips it like that. Okay. That's basically how you create a consist. Um, you can add cars to the beginning or the end. So let's say that you wanted to add a different engine. Let's say a dash 9 but you want to add it to the beginning. Go up here and click num to add. Select 1 and then click add beginning. And now you can see there's a Dash 940C at the begin beginning of the consist. Now you can also go down and select the type of car that you want to look at, freight cars in particular. You can look at uh, diesels that you have installed. I have no steam installed, for example, no carriages. That's pretty cool. Um, you can clone your consists. And in, in the 3D view, you can actually change your color. So you can set the color of the background, let's say to red, and now your trains will have a red background. This is cool for if you have a particular um, train that's blending a little too well, like this, if how well this blends. Well, this actually contrasts okay. Um, but if you've got a particular car that you want to see and make it pop even more, you can change that color inside the shape view. You can actually uh, copy the image. So therefore, if you get the engine like this and then you want to take a picture of it, you can actually copy that image and then go to paint. 
and paste that image in and now you got it like that that's pretty cool stuff and that's basically it and that's what I like about this consist editor is you can come in here really fast and put a consist together and get back in the game and do as you please what I do with this particular consist editor is I create all my consist in here and then I go inside the train simulator activity editor make my activities that way now the last thing we haven't done is gave everything a file name so you can give it a file name you can call it uh, NSAI tank train and for this type of um, when you give it a file name you usually want to give it underscores that's just the safest bet uh, to make sure that everything gets read correctly now for the display name you can call it wherever you want this is what you're going to see whenever you select the consist from your um, when you select the train to drive it inside of open rails or train simulator so you can just call it NS tank train if you want and then we'll go up here to save and now you can see on the left hand side where your consists are the NS tank train is on the left hand side and is selectable so there you have it you can show your activity consist which you can see I have no activities the route that I have has no activities that come with it so therefore there are no activity consists but you can select it by the route so if you have different routes installed you can actually go in and and just break it down that way as well um, that's basically it for the TSRE5 consist editor if you like this video give it a like if you got any questions leave a comment below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already it gives me inspiration to keep this channel going and to do more uh, videos and if you got any suggestions for videos leave those below as well and I'll see you in the next video